Snap 1995 here in the video game fanfiction plot with a new chapter for you all in the Chi Wizard Ninja and remember I do not own the Naruto series or this story I give full credit to its author by Chaos Management on fanfiction.net, future Chi Wizard Part 2. Last time, Naruto and his girls were propelled into the future to try and catch a demon who stole half a medallion of power brought home by Jackie. Meeting up with their older selves, they formed an alliance to catch this criminal together. That night, older Naruto had brought his younger self and the girls to the Namike's mansion that was bigger than ever with additional rooms added to it, well love what you've done to the place, it feels more homey than ever before. Well when I married up and started a family, I had to do something about the place. Older Naruto explained. Started a family? Shizuka asked. A Naruto, girls. You might want to check this out. Tamari caught as they went over to a mantel and saw numerous pictures of older Naruto and their older selves with teenagers at their sides. OMG, is that really? Jay turned to old Naruto nodded. Yup, you girls become mothers. Who are they? Ino asked curiously as the other girls pleaded to know. Well, Old Naruto began motioning a picture of him and Jade with a 16-year boy with black hair in a short style and brown eyes, this is Jake, mine and Jade's eldest son, he's very good with sealing jutsu and swordsmanship, he mostly takes after his mother for having a knack of getting into trouble. He chuckled. Har har. Jade replied sarcastically. He then motioned to a 14-year-old girl with blonde hair blue eyes and a nice looking body fit for a kanoishi who was next to the two adults and the boy, and that's our daughter Sapphire, she's very talented in wind jutsu and hand to hand combat almost as good as her brother. Wow I have two talented kids, Jade smiled, Jackie won't believe it. Jade, remember we can't tell anybody this ever. Naruto reminded her. Yeah I know what happens here stays here. She sighed. Older Naruto then motioned to a picture of himself with Ino and a 15-year-old daughter with similar long blonde hair and a curvaceous bod like her mother's and wearing a mix of red and purple clothes, that's mine and Ino's daughter Ako, she's good with flowers like her mom, not to mention a great medical specialist, and I had quite a favorite among the local teen boys, much to my dismay. He shuddered. Ino giggled, bet you'd be turning a lot of boys she brings home away. You have no idea. Older Naruto replied. Well I can't blame guys for falling for her, young Naruto looked at her image, if she weren't my daughter. Okay Naruto, please don't finish that. Ino cut him off. Sorry about that. Naruto chuckled. Older Naruto continued, motioning to a picture of him and older Shizuka with a 16 year old daughter with Shizuka's hair color and style along with a busty rack as Neichiko trained Kanoishi Go, that's our daughter Shiva, she's trained mostly in the Neichiko style but knows a fairly amount of Kanoa style, and like a Go she's also local fave among the boys. I give birth to such a beautiful daughter. Shizuka marveled at the picture of her older self and feature daughter. The older Naruto then motioned to a picture of himself and Tintin with a 17-year-old boy with brown hair in Naruto's hairstyle and Naruto's eyes, this is mine and Tenten son Hikaru like his mom he's an expert in the field of weaponry, and with enhancements from my higher shin makes him the fastest striker in the village, second only to me of course. Well he's handsome like his father. Tenten looked at the picture and motioned to Naruto with a smile making him blush. The Hokage motioned to a picture of himself with Hinata and a boy about 16 years of age with biakagon eyes and shoulder-length blue hair, this is Tayura the next heir in line for the Hyuga family. He's got skills comparable to Neji's but he has Hinata's heart. I'm really a mother. Hinata blushed. Older Naruto then motioned to a picture of him and an older Tamari, with twins composed of a boy and a girl. The boy looked like a younger version of Naruto while the girl looked like a younger Tamari except her hair wasn't in pigtails. And these are mine and Tamari's twins, our boy Tenma and our daughter I. Both are very skilled in Winjutsu though Tenma is more the fan man than our daughter. Well someone has to carry the fan. Tamari joked. So where are they? Naruto asked his older self. Out on missions of course. 
as Chunin they're allowed to join the other Jonin on the more dangerous missions. Sorry you can't meet them up close, but this is probably for the best in your case, wouldn't want them to blab anything to you about how to raise them. Older Naruto answered. So if they're my kids does that mean they? The young Naruto began but his adult self cut him off. No the talisman powers do not reside within them as they are bound only to my body, same for the demon Chi, and no amount of mixing my genes with the girls into offspring will change that. And the shadow kun? Jade asked. Only obey me unless I order them to follow their lead. Do they know any form of Chi magic? Teen Naruto asked. They know an abundance of spells and seals, not much as I knew back at their age, but just enough as mid-level chi wizards and witches. Hey did Uncle Jackie and Viper? Jade asked. Actually yes they have a 20-year-old son named James who's off in America studying to be an archaeologist. Is he anything like Jackie? Jade feared. Partly, but he's also got a bit of Viper's coolness making him half mellow and half serious. That's a relief. Hey Jade, check it out. Naruto called over as she and the girls noticed pictures of the former enforcers each with a woman. Finn, Ratso, and Shao, and they're married too? Jade asked. And Ratso ain't married to just anybody. Naruto motioned to the woman next to Ratso in the picture was Tsuma Nizuka. Isn't that Kiba's mom? Jade asked. Oh yeah, Ratso and Kiba's mom ran into each other one day years back. After one date they actually hit it off even though Ratso sometimes says she can be very scary if you take her off, but he loves her like he's never loved anybody. Hokage Naruto explained. How did Kiba react to this? Ino asked. He actually made several attempts to sabotage their relationship not wanting a man child like Ratso for a stepfather. But I set him straight on how much his mom liked Ratso and that any son would want his mother to be happy. Soon enough he accepted Ratso like a father, though he still has a bit of man-child personality, he's not as dense as he used to be. And who's this attractive blonde woman next to Finn? Jade asked. That's Yujiro Ni from Kumo. Suddenly teen Naruto and his girls nearly choked, Kumo? But Kumo's not our alley. Tenden replied. Yet, the older Naruto replied for after some time I made some compromises with the other ninja nations and actually came to a five-way nation truce. During a meeting with the Raikinch he brought Yujito with him as one of his guards. One look at her and Finn was walking on air. Although she at first found him a bit of a smooth-talking playboy, she grew accustomed to him and especially his disco dances. In fact their wedding was held at a roller disco. Typical Finn. Jay chuckled. And who's this with Chow? Naruto asked seeing a woman with short black hair next to said guy. That's Tsubaki, and believe it or not she was once fiancé to Mizuki Tom. What, Mizuki actually had a lover? Naruto asked. Yup, and you know something, she never did consider us a monster at all. She just followed Mizuki's belief out of fear. Jerk, Naruto replied, so how'd she end up with Chow? Sorry that's something you'll have to find out, his older self countered, now if you'll excuse me I have a locator spell to concoct, why don't you guys go to the bath and relax? Hokage Naruto suggested. Not a bad idea, is it still the same spot as it was before? His young self asked. Yup, though you may be surprised at it. Hokage Naruto took his leave getting to work. Well ladies let's go. Naruto was prepared to take them to the bath until the older girls held their younger selves back. They'll be right along with you, Naruto. We need to have a word with them. Older Jade said. Okay, I'll be waiting. Naruto went on ahead. What's up? Young Jade asked. Sorry to pull you away from him girls, but we've decided it's time you girls made your move on Naruto. Oh Jade replied. Our move? Ino asked. That's right. Oino answered. But if we do that won't we? Hinata worried until her older self replied. Not to worry you won't be giving birth that soon at your ages. Well we've been thinking about it and our time at the hot spring resort was amazing, but didn't go as far as we wanted because we were still young. Tin remembered. 
Well now's the perfect time. Her older self replied encouraging her and the other girls. Well let's go. Shizuka said as they headed for the changing room of the indoor bath. I just hope we'll be satisfying enough for Naruto. Tamari said until her older self and the girls' older selves started undressing them much to their own embarrassment. Don't worry we're going to be right here to help you girls. Oshizuka assured them while she undressed her younger self. Meanwhile in the indoor bath, which was much bigger and spacious than the outdoor hot springs was like an indoor pool. Naruto was in the giant bath with his arms resting on the edge, oh this is relaxing eh guys? Yes the heat is very relaxing. Shindu admitted. Oh yeah, your older self is very grateful for allowing you usage of his private bath. Kurama added. Well technically it's still my private bath, just in a different time. Naruto reminded them. Naruto. Naruto looked ahead and felt his eyes would pop out of their sockets, as he saw entering the room was his six girlfriends and their future selves stand before him with their undeniable hot bods wrapped in towels, girls. He gasped. What's the matter Naruto, startled? Tamari asked as she and her older self stood before him. Kind of. I didn't expect your adult selves would be joining us. Then I guess you weren't also expecting this. Older Shizuka smirked as all twelve of them opened up their towels. Naruto's eyes widened at the sight of their exposed bodies. Sure he'd seen his girls naked before from bathing with them and his nightly astral spying, but adding to the mix their sexier adult selves to it would be enough to knock even Jiraiya out for days. Having seen his girls in the buff before know what to expect from them, but their adults' selves bots were just as hot, sexy, and voluptuous as ever especially in the rack and ass department. You girls got me good. He covered his nose to keep the blood in. I knew we would. Older Jade smirked as the two Jades high-fived in their success to arouse him with their naked bodies. Welcome on girls water rate and getting any nicer. Ino said as the twelve girls slid themselves into the bath. Come on over here Naruto we'll wash you. Hinata playfully finger motioned him to come. On my way. Naruto swam over to the edge with the girls as the younger girls surrounded him. I got Naruto's back. Jade called dibs. I'll handle his right arm. Tinden called. Then left is mine. Ino called. I'll handle his torso. Hinata added. Then me and Shizuka got his feet covered. Tamari smirked with Shizuka. Then girls, let's get to work. Jade smirked. Soon Naruto was getting pampered by his ladies, with Jade washing his back, Tin and Ino washing his arms, Hinata scrubbing his torso, while Shizuka and Tamari got his feet. He moaned and sighed in delight as the older girls were watching how their younger selves were handling things so far before they took it up. Ah this is more like it, keep it up girls, I'm loving it. Naruto sighed in relaxation. Tamari and Shizuka smirked, well you'll love this even more Naruto. Shizuka said as both girls started giving Naruto a hand job. Tamari, Shizuka. Naruto gasped but moaned at the feeling. Don't worry Naruto we're gonna make you feel all good. Tamari smirked as both she and Shizuka started looking around his manhood. No fair they started before us. Ino frowned, well I'm not losing to them. She took Naruto's arm burying it into her bosom e chest. Neither am I. Tin added taking Naruto's other arm burying it into her own perfect sized chest. Damn it girls not only have the gotten bigger but still soft. Naruto panted as he could feel their nipples harden under his palm when he groped them. You want soft Naruto? Me and Hinata will give you soft. Jade said as she and Hinata started rubbing their breasts against his back. How does this feel Naruto? Hinata asked as she gently rubbed hers on his back. I'm feeling total relaxation. Naruto panted as the girls continued pleasuring him for 20 minutes before they stopped. That was fun. Ino smiled. Agreed, now it's time to return the favor. Naruto summoned multiple shadow clones in the bath, boys let's get to work. And with that, Naruto's girls both young and their adult selves were being pampered by Naruto and his clones with one doing their shoulders, their breasts, and their feet each. Oh yeah this is perfect. Jade moaned in delight as her older self spoke. 
yeah just the way our Naruto does it. My future self is sure lucky to feel up extra hot bodies such as yours. An Naruto clone said massaging older Jade's chest. Don't worry Naruto you will also. Older Hinata said as she and her younger self moaned from having their bodies massaged. Soon the girls had gotten enough massaging as Jade spoke to their man, alright Naruto that massage is enough. Okay boys take five. Naruto dismissed his clones transferring all the pleasurable feeling they felt up back to him resulting in a fresh erection. Well congratulations girls, see what a nice job you've done? Older Ten asked. Agreed, maybe you should do something about that. Older Temari added. You're right, Shizuka said as she and the girls turned to Naruto, the foreplay was exhilarating Naruto, but we think it's time we went up a little more. You mean actually do it? Naruto asked. What else? Jade asked. Suddenly Naruto heard his parents, way to go son, you're finally going to be a man, be glad Jiraiya sensei's not here. Minato thought. Naruto even though I cannot do anything to stop you, as your mother I hope you will take responsibility for what may happen. Gushina thought. Don't I always? Naruto thought as he turned back to the girls, all right then. But let's not wait turns. Cage bunch in no jutsu. And with that he summoned five clones. Perfect. Tintin smirked as she and the girls felt their older selves lay their hands on their shoulders, and while you're all busy with Naruto will also keep him pleasured for you. Her older self replied. Well then let's get to work. Ino ordered as they agreed. Soon they were out of the bath with Jade lying on the floor with Naruto above her, you're really sure about this Jade? What if Jackie? Hey Jackie's in the past he's not going to know this happened, and the Jackie form this time isn't here. No big. Point, alright then, Naruto said lowering himself down as Jade gasped, Jade I'm inside you. So this is how it feels Naruto, I'm so happy. Jade shed some tears. Doesn't it hurt? A little but I'll stomach it for you. She replied. You do that. Meanwhile I'll make sure he doesn't lose his mood. Older Jade said pressing herself against his back. So Naruto started thrusting in and out while moving along, oh god Naruto. Jade moaned. Are you sure you're alright? I'll be fine, once I get used to it. Jade moaned as she bit her lip. Alright then. Naruto continued thrusting around inside Jade while the older Jade rubbed herself against his back to keep him extra excited. Jade continued to moan from Naruto's thrusting until her man hushed her by planting his lips on hers where they engaged in a passionate tongue wrestling kiss while his hands played with her breasts making her nipples harden against his palms. Jade could only think as she was being humped, oh my god I'm actually having sex with Naruto. This is the greatest feeling ever. Wow Jade's so tight inside. I wish I did this with her three years ago. Naruto thought as he continued. Naruto continued thrusting around inside Jade, keeping her from screaming until she finally felt him come within her. Their lips parted allowing them air, wow. Jade gasped. Yeah wow. Naruto agreed. You two enjoyed that very well. Older Jade said. You helped it by keeping Naruto in the mood. Her young self reminded her. Hey we're a team. The old Jade replied as the two kissed Naruto and prepared for another round. One of Naruto's clones meanwhile was going at it with Hinata doggy style while older Hinata was rubbing her breast against his back, oh Naruto. Hinata moaned. That's it Hinata say my name, say it loud and proud. Naruto I love this feeling so much don't stop. Hinata moaned. Imagine what the Hyuga family would think to know their heir could get this horny so easily? The clone chuckled as older Hinata spoke. Pot meat kettle Naruto. Older Hinata reminded him as she continued rubbing her large assets on his back. Touché, he replied as he continued moving around inside Hinata, hope you're ready Hinata I'm going to let it out. Do it Naruto I want it. Hinata begged and could soon feel her juices pour into her, yes, oh that's so heavenly Naruto. Glad you liked that. I would never ask anyone else besides you to do that to me. Hinata replied. 
Naruto's second clone was getting a tit fuck from Shizuka and her giant breasts while her older self was behind him with her breasts pressing in the back of his head, Shizuka, my dick's being smothered. Naruto panted from the excitement. This is one technique I've always wanted to use on you Naruto. Shizuka said as she continued rubbing her breasts around his length. And believe me this has become my signature technique with him in the sack. Older Shizuka added. I know why, Naruto replied as he panted from the excitement, I think I'm ready to come. Try and hold it in a bit longer, I want to savor this. Shizuka said as she picked up the pace of her rubbing. Oh Kami this is becoming too much, Shizuka I am about to. Naruto moaned as he finally came onto her face. Oh yes, this was magnificent. Shizuka said seeing how much of his juices dripped on her cheeks. I'm glad, how often do Nade Shiko Kanoishi get to do this? Naruto asked. Not often, only when they've found men they desire as husbands, we cannot have one night stands like others otherwise we would only disgrace our village. Well you're no disgrace at all. Naruto smiled in satisfaction. Smirking Shizuka took his manhood, just for that Naruto, you're gonna get another helping. She popped it into her mouth and started sucking on it. Oh shit Shizuka this is hot. Naruto gasped as his body started trembling in excitement. Shizuka continued sucking his dick pleasurably bobbing her head up and down until she felt Naruto shoot his load into her mouth and she swallowed it. You really unleashed a lot more that time Naruto. Well it's all thanks to you Shizuka. Naruto said pulling her into a kiss while older Shizuka held the two kissing teens close. Meanwhile two more of the clones were but fucking Tamari and Tintin, who were on all fours facing each other, okay Tintin you ready? Tamari asked. Ready as I'll ever be. Tintin answered as the two girls leaned in and kissed each other while the two clones but fucked them, and the girls older selves were pleasuring the clones from behind. As Tin and Tamari kissed they thought, wow Tin's not bad, and those lips are of hers are soft, both Naruto and her really make me feel good. Wow this is the same girl I lost to and look at me now making out with her while getting intimate with the guy we share. I wonder if any of the girls from my academy class will ever get this lucky seeing as how they all drooled and swoon over Nejai. Tin thought while groaning from the feeling of Naruto's clone inside her. Both clones noticed the two girls were enjoying this, wow they seem to really be getting into this. One clone said. For real. The other agreed. We are quite a tag team in bed Naruto. Older Tin said as she rubbed her breast on the one clone's back. Yeah your older self could tell you stories. Older Tamari smirked pleasuring the other clone with her breasts. Soon both young Tin and Tamari felt both clones come inside each of them and they parted from their kiss, nice use of your tongue sweetie. Tamari smiled. Same to you. Sweetie. Tin replied back. And the final clone was busy lying down on the older Inno's soft busty body while the younger Inno was riding him, yes. Yes. I'm having sex before Sakura. Oh how I wish I could tell her this. She cheered. If she found out she could tell Jackie or worse your parents. Naruto's clone moaned as she rode him. True, still as long as I know I'm satisfied. Ino moaned as she continued riding Naruto. And I feel satisfied as well you could probably be just as good as Sakura in this field anyway. Naruto's clone said wrapping his arms around Ino's waist making him go in deeper. Are you about ready yet Naruto? I am. Then give it all to me. Inno begged. A few more thrusts and the clone finally climaxed inside Inno making her moan in delight, oh that was perfect, I will always remember this. And you do. Older Inno told her older self. The real Naruto who was cuddling against both jades looked at the others, you all still think you can go another round? Of course. Hinata replied. As are we boss. A clone spoke on behalf of the other four. Then let's make this a truly memorable night. Naruto announced as the six Narutos started another round with the ladies. Meanwhile far from the village in a mountain range, lied a hut and stepping out of it was Chimera still holding onto the two pieces of the medallion while looking up at the near completed moon. Yes, soon the moon will be fully round, 
and then I will use the medallion to make myself the strongest demon in centuries, not even the power of Shindu will be enough to challenge me. And then the land of fire and all the nations will cower at my feet. He declared as the moon's reflection shined off the two medallion pieces. Well that's the ending of that chapter, I do hope you enjoy this video if you like to see more remember, to hit that like button subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below until next time.